Welcome to Pandora, kiddos. This is part one of a series of videos making a legendary Hyperion submachine gun out of EVA foam. This is going to be a more detailed tutorial than my last foam gun video, so I'm splitting it into several parts. I'm starting with these four printouts on legal sized paper. These are going to get taped together and this whole thing is going to go up on the wall so I can reference it while I work on it. And I also have this black and white copy that I'll be cutting up to make templates for each piece that I cut. So I'm going to start by taping these together. And for that, I'm going to use this giant shipping tape. Okay, but not this piece because that's out. First, I'm just going to rough cut it. Just to get the basic shape and size. Sure seems big, but it's actually just barely going to fit in my hand. Hmm, this may have to be modified. We'll see. I'm getting to that part of the project where I say, this is going to be harder than it looked at first. It always looks so simple. And then you get to this part, you actually start to look at it and you go, oh, well, that's not simple at all. Don't need the barrel. Don't need this little gas system down here. At least I assume this is a gas system. I don't know. Could be recoil operated. Mm. Kind of fits, but I think it's plenty big, so we'll go with it. So the size is actually good. The only problem is this little cross piece under here, where this an actual gun, I'd cut that out completely. But since we just need accuracy of looks, we'll leave it in. I scaled this to match my Malawan, which is 24 inches. On the same scale, this came out to 27 and a half or 28 inches, something like that. We're gonna cut out pieces that are going to be made separately. For example, this will be done separately. Rear sight from the bottom of this. That's all flat right there. I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Trigger and this piece can go the next thing that's gonna come off will be this piece of the stock okay there's the stock that comes off I'm gonna use a one inch dowel for that little hinge piece so forward pistol grip, and last, this is going to be a separate piece, come off, and this tiny piece is just a tiny piece. So to get the right thickness, I'm going to need like three of these. Mm. 
new blade, I think. Where are you put your blades? Oh, I hope they're in here. Now we sand off this textured side so that we get two smooth sides that glue nicely to each other. So these are gonna stick together and they're gonna be the guts of the whole thing. It's gonna make up this gray part of the receiver and then all the pink parts will be shrouds that are going to go over it. Oh, uh, also I'm going to put this piece of dowel in here. That'll give it some very good structural rigidity, but I'm going to need to carve that out. And I think my Dremel is going to be the best way to do that. Now we glue a lot. And for good measure, I'm going to super glue the dowel in here just because I don't want it to end up loose and knocking around in there. All right, okay, I'm gonna start it back here. I'm stuck. Let's just go around the edges, make sure it's good. That's the first part done.